Hi students, welcome back to our online biology class. After a long break, we are back to our classroom. Hope all are doing well. Today our topic is related to chloroplast. Before that, we can recall our portion. Last week we learned about photosynthesis. What do you mean photosynthesis? Synthesizing food with the help of the sunlight by the plants are called the photosynthesis. And also we learned the uh, structure of the leaf. The leaf contains structures such as upper epidermis, lower epidermis and in the lower epidermis we can see the stromata. In between the upper epidermis and lower epidermis we can see the chloroplast. So today our topic is based on chloroplast. The chloroplast is a cell organelle. Chloroplast is a double layered membrane which contains two layers, outer layer and inner layer. So it is called the double layered membrane. This is the outer layer, this is the inner layer. Filled with a fluid called stroma. A membrane is bones are arranged one above the another. Membrane is bone arranged one above the another, which is called grana. Each granas are connected by stroma lamellae. Once again, the chloroplast is a cell organelle which has a double layer membrane filled with a fluid called stroma and in the stroma we can see membrane is bone which are arranged one above the another. It is called the grana. Each grana is connected by stroma lamellae. This diagram you have to draw in the notebook and label the parts. Our next topic is pigments in the chloroplast. The pigments that absorb sunlight are seen in the grana. The pigments are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotene and xanthophyll. Once again the pigments Present in the chloroplast are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotene and xanthophyll. Chlorophyll A imparts bluish green in color. Chlorophyll B imparts yellowish green. Carotene involves yellowish orange. And xanthophyll imparts yellow in color. So, the pigments present in the chloroplast are chlorophyll A, which shows bluish green in color. Chlorophyll B, yellowish green, carotene, yellowish orange, xanthophyll, yellow in color. This you have to write it in the notebook. All the pigments has the capacity to absorb the sunlight. But chlorophyll A, it absorbs the sunlight directly. That means it participates directly in photosynthesis. The rest of the three pigments absorb the sunlight and transfer it to the chlorophyll A. So these three pigments are called accessory pigment. Once again, pigments are seen in the grana of the chloroplast. What is by grana? It is a membrane sac which are arranged one above the another in the 
cytoplasm is called the grana and uh, the pigments are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotene and xanthophyll. Chlorophyll A imparts bluish green in color, chlorophyll B imparts yellowish green in color, carotene imparts yellowish orange and xanthophyll imparts yellow in color. All these has the capacity to absorb the sunlight but what is the peculiarity of chlorophyll A? It directly participates in photosynthesis and rest of the three pigments chlorophyll B, carotene and xanthophyll. It absorbs the sunlight and transfer to the chlorophyll A for photosynthesis. So these three pigments are called the accessory pigments. Our next topic is vascular tissues. Have you heard about the word vascular tissues last year? Yes, vascular tissues are xylem and phloem. You have learned how the plants prepare the food. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and it is the xylem vessels that take the water and minerals to the leaves and the leaves with the help of the sunlight and carbon dioxide which enter through the stomata prepare their food and these food are sent to all parts of the plants by the phloem vessels. Once again, the root absorb water and minerals from the soil and it is the xylem vessels which collect water and minerals to the leaves. The leaves with the help of the sunlight and carbon dioxide prepare the food and these prepared foods are sent to all parts of the plants by the phloem vessel. Read your textbooks, go through the videos whenever you get the time. See you next day. Bye.